there are some astonishing boulder fields on this mountain which could make for exceedingly difficult walking except fortunately for me someone has made a very nice path through them so that makes me pretty happy Uh, fairly typical of alpine hiking in Tasmania where a lot of the time it's difficult to tell the difference between the track and the local oh, creek system. 1200 to 1500 meters is fairly high by Australian standards but given the southerly latitude of Tasmania it means that the mountains are exposed to much more severe weather than uh, further north in the country. And uh, one of the things you've got to be really careful about is to be well prepared for fog or even possibly snow. It was snowing down to 1200 metres two days ago. I'm now up onto the uh, first level of the summit plateau. This consists of either boulder fields like this one, which are pretty tricky walking, or huge bog heaps full of mud. So I'm not quite sure which I prefer. I guess they've got each got their own advantages and disadvantages, but either way, it's uh, making for really interesting walking. I'm just beginning the climb up to the second level of the summit plateau. Bit of a mixture of sunshine and fog at the moment. This area here is the first level of the summit plateau. The vegetation just one massive sponge and of course this is all snow covered in winter. No bugger, private property, keep out. I would dearly love to be able to see inside the structure, but interesting to know whether it's still being used. But it's not going to happen, but I've just noticed that there's one pane of glass missing here, so we might just. Well, I can't get inside. Yes, we can. Huh. Well. It's not going to be much good if it starts snowing because there's only one ski on the wall. And yes, well, maybe the place has seen better days after all. I'm actually better off outside. Ah, beauty! Another hut. This looks more salubrious. Let's have a look. Ah, this one says that it's an authorised structure. Parks and Wildlife Service, Tasmania. Ah, hmm. Yes, well, unfortunately, I'm not authorised. It's not exactly the welcome mat, but under the circumstances, since I'm not allowed in, I guess this will have to do. At least it's in the sunshine, and it's out of the wind. Ah, oh, this is a pretty fine view. Now we can have a brief look at Spiros. <laughs> yep, the merino wool neck balaclava that I bought on the ship to Antarctica, which you can use as a scarf, as a hat like this, or as a full balaclava. Very useful piece of kit. Thoroughly recommend it for anybody who's going to travel into cold areas. Now, it's 10.30, it's time for lunch. Well, I did bring a cooked lunch. Because I was told that there was a stove up here. <laughs> 